Hey guys, today I would like to show you Salesforce Libraries, uh, which is part of Salesforce content. This is a video for beginning to intermediate administrators and can also be used by aspiring administrators who are just looking to get a better feel for Salesforce. What libraries are Firstly, um, are basically a way to hold documents within Salesforce and we can separate these into departments or any way you want to separate them um, in such a way that we can delegate certain users to have access to certain libraries uh, and therefore we can set security on documents and content that we have in Salesforce. Content can be anything from PDF documents, Excel sheets, videos, images, anything basically that is stored as a file and you can upload into Salesforce content. So let's get started. The first thing to note is that we need to make sure that we have content enabled. So we'll go into setup, we can quick search content, it's under customize Salesforce CRM content. If you already have content enabled, you will see all of these options. If not, you will only see the settings option. If you already have it enabled, you will see all of these checkboxes. If not, you will only see the enable Salesforce CRM content option. Once that is checked, you will have these other options. I've left them as the default. Uh, I recommend you doing the same unless you have specific situations where you might need to uncheck some of these. Uh, so if you feel that that might be you, then obviously you're, you're going to want to look into these a little closer. Once we know that we have it enabled, we can take a look at our other options here. We can add fields, validation rules, triggers, field sets, limits, content types, compact layouts, content permissions. Content permissions are how security is controlled within the libraries and a content permission can be different. One user can have a different permission depending on what library they're in. For one library, they might just be a viewer of that library, and for another, they might be a manager or administrator of that library, allowing them to delete content and create new content, things like that. So let's go check out the interface for libraries. We'll go to our All tabs, and then we'll go to the Libraries tab. So as you can see, it's very basic. There's not a lot going on here. Uh, that's because I haven't built this out yet. We have our content search. The great thing about content search is not only will it search tags and titles of documents, it will also search the metadata within the documents. So if you have a Word document that has the word executive in it, it will search through the Word document, find that, and bring it back as a result. Now then, I already have one library built out called the Marketing Library. Uh, I will quickly show you how to create a new library. So these are basically your categories. Uh, typically I've seen them broken up into departments. So since I already have a Marketing Library, let's create a Cells Library. And we can choose Save and Close or Save and Add Members. Uh, this is a developer org, so I'm actually the only user in this org. Uh, so I'm not going to add members. I'm going to save and close. If you created the library, you will automatically be assigned as a member of the library. So I'm going to save it. Library has been created. Let's let this process for just a minute. Okay. So we'll go to all libraries. And as you can see, we have marketing and sales library now. If I click into the sales library, you can see that we can contribute directly to the sales library. We can look at top content. We can also look at members. And as you can see, I'm already a library administrator. If you want to add members, you can do that. Uh, typically, you should assign a library administrator to each library so you don't have an administrator coming in managing library members for a sp specific department or subgroup. Now, let's go ahead and 
go back to all libraries and let's contribute a document. So let's start by contributing. I have a couple of sample documents here. We can upload the sample PowerPoint, which you may or may not see. I've already uploaded this a couple of times. But we can say save in my personal library or publish to a shared library where we can choose marketing and sales. You can only publish to libraries that you have access to add content to. And that goes back to our permissions that I talked about, the content permissions. And if you don't have create content permission in a specific library, then you will not see them here. So I'll publish this to the marketing library. And now we can create tags. If we save it in a personal library, there's no need for tags, as that's your personal library and no one's going to be searching for it. In marketing, we could tag this as sample, Salesforce, and anything else. So we'll go ahead and publish this. We can view our content, say done publishing, or contribute more content. We'll say done publishing for now. And it looks like I may actually not have read permissions in this library. Uh, instead of going into that with you guys, I'll try to find, I'll just go ahead and find looks like it's just showing up in content here from a previous one that I had uh, uploaded so let's just take a look at that one so the great thing about this preview is that we can look at a PowerPoint in a preview window so we've got our PowerPoint here and we can scroll through the slides right here in the preview window we can also open this up to show it as a full screen we can make comments on this we can look at the version and right now it's version 1. If we were to upload a new version, it would let us know that that's version 2, so on. We can look at how often it's been downloaded, who has downloaded it. We can look at who has subscribed to this content. And we can also add it to a content pack. A content pack is just a group of two or more pieces of content stored in a folder. We can also edit the content, you can upload a new version, archive the content, delete the content. Those are all options that have to do with content permissions and you can set those permissions there. Uh, if you're interested in getting more in depth with content permissions, I've got another video that goes into content permissions and how you set them up. But again, you do not edit permissions within a user's profile and you don't add them to libraries within a profile. That's all handled within the Libraries tab. Now then, if we get back to the home page of the library, you will see popular tags here. So these are the tags that I've used for the document and they will show up based on who's clicking on them. So if people are searching things with those tags and people are looking at content with those tags, they will show up in the popular tag section. And here we can actually create new content packs from our create new dropdown. And obviously like we saw, we can add new libraries by coming here. Now this does require administrative privileges, uh, which I believe is manage content would be your system permission there. Now a really neat thing that I would like to show you is content delivery. Um, and because this is a sample org, let's see if I can show it to you. Well, I don't want to waste too much time. So if you want to check out content delivery, I'll make a separate video for that. So by the time this is published, there will be another video for content delivery. But effectively, what it allows you to do is deliver content from the library to 
an account or contact within Salesforce and you can deliver that out they can view the content in a they can view the content in a a web page or it can be downloaded as a PDF or as whatever type of file it is that you uploaded uh, so that's really useful you can set password restrictions on the content uh, so that someone who receives that has to use a password to see it uh, just in case it falls into the wrong hands or you send it uh, to the wrong email address or something of that nature and that really about sums up libraries um, like I said you can check out a separate video I have on content permissions I also have a separate video on library reporting uh, because all of this this library object is reportable uh, we can report on tags used who's creating these uh, how often they're downloaded things such as that and I will also have the video on content delivery so if you're interested in any of those things feel free to take a look at those and the separate videos uh, if I've said anything out of place here, please comment and let me know. If there's anything I need to add, again, comment and just let me know what I've missed on. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.